you could be lucky enough to have cash to buy a property outright. However, if you don't, then you would usually take out a mortgage. And today we're going to go through some mortgage basics. Now, the first thing that I'm going to tell you is a little bit about what a mortgage actually is. Now, a mortgage is a loan secured against a property. And this enables you to purchase a property when you don't have the cash available to do it. Very much like taking out a car loan, a mortgage is a just a big loan secured against the house so that if anything was to happen, bank has security that they can repossess the house or they can force you to sell the house is probably a better way of knowing what happens and they can sell that house and then get their money back. Mortgages are usually taking over a long period of time. So typically speaking, people are taking mortgages over 15 years, 35 years. And the most common way to make the monthly payments is direct debit. Now, spreading a mortgage over a long period of time is what people tend to do. It's just because of the large amounts of money involved in taking out a mortgage. Because you're not talking a couple of thousand pounds. Usually you're talking hundreds of thousands when it comes to, to taking that out. And lenders will take into consideration a number of things when reviewing it. Most notably, they will take into consideration your income and your outgoings when they decide to lend money. It's not the only things that they'll consider your age, they'll consider the length of time the mortgage is over, but they'll make an assessment based on your income and outgoings. Typically, when you buy a property, you would be expected to put down some form of deposit. Deposit can be as little as 5% as a property value. There are some options out there where you may not need any money of your own that we'll talk about in a later episode. But generally speaking, you would need to have some form of deposit when you are buying a house. And the final thing that I'd like to tell you about today is the risks involved when taking out a mortgage because a lot of people aspire to be homeowners and it it's a great achievement when they've managed to build up savings, especially when renting and they're getting to that home ownership. But it comes with risks. Now, if you don't make your monthly payments and if you start missing payments and being late in payments, your home could be repossessed, which means the bank will take control of it, force the sale to end up getting their money back. Now, if you want to avoid this risk, you just make sure that you're paying your mortgage payments in time, which isn't always easy. So that's just a little bit about mortgage basics. If you do find this useful, please give it a like and a share.